some some so i think milo has like some mites or something because um he's been scratching a lot so i took him to the vet so he's not allowed to come into this rug until i clean it so he's kind of like um self-quarantined in the back today i'm gonna be trying to glow up for back to school because i am kind of a mess and i kind of need a lot of help and i think that's also gonna be uh cleaning my room because my room is kind of a hot mess I think I'm going to start off by um, waxing these caterpillars because my <laughs> I had to like let them grow up. Now they're, now they're a bush, but that's going to be good for us. I'm going to be doing like an affordable glow up because um kind of kind of broke. Okay, obviously skincare is super important, so um, I'm going to recommend some stuff that I think are in a good budget. I got these like little facial scrub thingies from Amazon. I think they were like six bucks and it comes with like four or five different ones. And then I'm using this cleanser. This is from Item Beauty. Um, this is their Fast Pass cleanser. It's like 20 bucks or something. I think that if you're going to spend money on something, it should definitely be your skincare because that's going to be which shows most on your face. If you have combination skin like me, I definitely recommend this moisturizer. This is from Heritage Store and is a rose water moisturizer. And honestly, it's 12 bucks and it's so good. I definitely recommend it. Also, sunscreen is super duper important. I recommend this one. This is the Sunbum SPF 30. It's so cool. Okay, time to do my eyebrows. So I already had this, but you can get these like pre-made wax strips from anywhere, Walmart, Walgreens, wherever you want to go. Um, I think they're for like a couple bucks. I'm, I don't think it's over like $10. I don't think so. So they come like this. So what I usually do is I take this and I cut it down the middle. So it's easier for me to wax my eyebrows. So then I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going to kind of fill my eyebrows in a little bit. So then you like Mr. Miyagi it. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, but <laughs> this is the hardest part. Okay. <laughs> they should hire me. Anyway, I really don't recommend that you guys like shave your face because I did that and then I got like really bad breakouts. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, and like I got really bad ones like right here around my jaw. So yeah, don't shave your face, y'all. Don't do it. Especially if you have sensitive skin like me. I think I'm gonna go to maybe the dollar store and see. No. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. So I'll see you guys in my car. So I just wanted to take the time right now to talk to you guys because you guys are like my friends and if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> I love you. But like, no, seriously, I feel like I want to make content that makes other people smile. Like if you're having a bad day, I want you to just go and watch my video and just feel a lot better. Like that would just make me so happy. I'm Christian, if you guys did not know that. Um, I feel like I don't talk about it enough, but yes, I am Christian. I'm a Christian YouTuber. God gave me this beautiful message to share. A couple weeks ago, my boyfriend gave me this beautiful bouquet of flowers. We were on a picnic, we left the flowers in his car and it was so hot outside. So by the time that we got home, the flowers were completely dead. My mom was like, no, just throw them out, like they're dead. And I was like, no, I wanted to try to bring it back to life. So my boyfriend gave me nutrients to give to the flowers. So I put them in a vase and I put it in with water and then I put the nutrients in. And then the next morning I wake up and I go to see the flowers and they were alive again. I felt so happy in that moment because I could have chosen to give up on the flowers and thrown them out because they were so dead. 
but I chose to believe in them. What I want to share with you guys is if you are feeling spiritually dead, if you are feeling like you're not worth anything and like you feel like God doesn't want anything to do with you anymore, God just wanted me to let you know that he loves you so much that he wants to nourish you back to life and that he wants to do whatever he can to bring you back to life. And all you have to do is just surrender and let him give you what you need give you the nutrients bring you back to life and even though you might be you might feel so dead and so unsavable the key is god he is the key to bringing you back to life and if you just let him work in your life i promise you just like those flowers you will come back to life because he has faith in you even when you don't have faith in yourself probably talked for a little a little too long but that's my message and i felt like sharing it i don't care if you know nobody wants to hear it it's okay at least one person will hear it i know that god is going to speak to someone whoever it is i love you so much and i know that god loves you even more okay guys so i'm gonna show you what i got I got this ordinary little peeling solution. Don't know how this is gonna work, but hopefully it works because I've been breaking out so bad. I got this little hair mask. Even though I'm not gonna be putting it on today, I still wanna put it on when I wash my hair. The next thing that I got was this foot mask and I'm like really excited to use this. Um, this was $7 and this was also $7 and then the hair mask was only $3 so that brings us to a total of like $17 so less than $20 and I think that that's a pretty good deal um, You can definitely check Walmart. I'm pretty sure they have like a bunch of cheaper stuff, but I think we'll be fine. So Let's go home now I know the devil be plotting on me, but God got me We're back um yeah i kind of fell asleep last time because i was like so tired but i wanted to show you guys my nails this is what they turned out like they're so cute i love them so much i think they look perfect and they look like i got them done at the salon but i i didn't so now i'm going to be putting on my face mask i'm really really excited for this actually no i'm kind of scared like i do not want this to break me out do not use on sensitive skin i'm not gonna use this i'm just gonna return this i'm not even gonna open it so this is the mask that i'm gonna be using this one is from teeny it's their detox mask um and Honestly, I feel like my mask kind of dried. Cause, like, see how hard it is to put on? I mean, like, I still have a lot left, but I feel like it kind of dried up. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put on this, um, foot mask. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> kind of nervous about it. Oh god. What in the heck? This looks like a pad. <laughs> oh. What the heck is this? How do you... Oh, you have to cut it, you idiot. Like, I guess you just put your foot in. That does not feel good. What in the heck? Does it even smell good? Yeah, it kind of smells like a spa. Really? Ew, that is so weird. Okay, I'm done being weird. And in the meantime, I think I'm gonna crochet. <gasps> yes. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Uh, I think that's the last step. Oh, actually to do my hair. I'm gonna curl my hair too. I wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing for my makeup. I just wanna do something super natural, not anything crazy. Use a concealer.
Actually, since I'm only using concealer and not foundation, I'm going to blend it in with this little small brush that I have to just kind of make it a little bit more full coverage. Okay, so obviously my face is not all well blended, but I'm gonna go in with my makeup sponge and I'm just going to blend everything out. Now, I do know my face looks like a ghost right now. <laughs> Um, I purchased the wrong concealer color and it's actually like two shades lighter than my actual skin tone So I am aware that it, this does not match my skin color But I'm gonna show you guys what I do since I did buy the wrong concealer I'm gonna show you guys how I fix that. So I am adding this cream contour Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with this setting powder that I have from L'Oreal and this is actually the same color as my skin. So what I do with this is I just go in with a brush and I just put it over my eyes and anywhere else I put the concealer just to kind of match my skin tone and not make me look like a ghost. I am going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this powder because it does last all day long and it just makes my makeup look a lot better. Okay, so once I am done with my powder, I like to leave it on to kind of set in my face and I'm going to do my eyebrows now. So now I'm going to add some blush. This blush is so pretty. It looks like this. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to grab some on my brush. And now I'm going to use powder. I also am going to do some freckles. Um, if you want to do freckles, I really recommend this um, little freckle brush from Freck. It makes the most natural looking freckles and I really recommend it. Okay guys, I just finished doing my makeup. Oh yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm really excited for back to school if you guys could not already tell. Um, I start school September 1st, so still got like two weeks till school. But if you started school, I hope school is going well and leave a comment down below. Talk to me in the comments tell me something say hi and if you are not subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a sweetheart and i'll have all my social media links down below instagram tiktok my depop everything in the description box and yeah i love you guys so much god bless you god loves you show love bye show love show love show love Show love, show love